and he has been talking and is talking, I believe, to small businesses. How has the announcement gone down, Jeff? Well, yes, I'm here in the centre of Winchester outside Ashby's, which is a new restaurant that's only been open in the town since December, but has been doing incredibly well. But of course, difficult times. Let's speak to the owner of Ashby's and also to the uh, assistant manager, I believe. Assistant manager, is that right? Of, of uh, Winchester Bakery. Um, let's start with you, James. Um, give us some sense of how it's been since you opened, constantly thinking about these energy bills and watching mm. what's happening. Well, we opened just post-pandemic. Um, people are a little bit sceptical, I think, first of all. Still a bit nervous around coming into an open place, a uh, public place. We seem to have got through that after probably March, April time. And then um, summer was, was kind of OK, but obviously the talk of the rising energy costs and what have you has really kind of dented the, uh, the spend per head over the last couple of months, that's for sure. How has it been at Winchester Bakery? Similar, similar situation? Yes, uh, we opened since April. Um, started really well over the summer. Um, but, yeah, we have been noticing that it's been getting harder and harder, basically. Um, people have to watch every penny. Um, and we're seeing, unfortunately, us uh, dropping, our, dropping our overall sales. And you personally, you've got, you've got two jobs yeah. to try and make ends meet. How, how are you managing? Are you struggling? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's rough. Um, you know, working the best part of six and a half days a week um, just to keep the lights on and to keep, keep the house warm. But uh, you do what you can. You've just got to keep smiling and just say... Um, Hopefully things will get better. Uh, the news that we've been hearing today about the, the mini budgets on Friday and this energy cap, how do you think that will affect you? Is this the news you've been waiting for? Not really, no. I mean, we kind of hoped and prayed that it would be something fairly decent, but I didn't really hold out too much hope. Um, I think we were looking at 10 times what our annual bill would have been probably three or four months ago, what the forecast was, and then to be told that it'll be half of what the potential uh, was going to be really kind of makes it four to five times what it probably was six months ago. So it's still very unaffordable, which is why we're all having to pivot on our business model. Now, the message from the government is we can't help everybody with everything. We can only help certain people. And businesses have to adapt. It's also the responsibility of the business, not just on government, to bail people out. How have you at Winchester Bakery been adapting to this crisis, do you think? Um, yeah, it's, you have to be creative. Um, seeing if you can renegotiate, uh, obviously, for pastries and coffees and trying to get as much as you can out of everything, really. Um, but I know they say they can't help everybody, but at the minute it feels like they're helping nobody. Um, it feels like too little, too late, unfortunately. And I, I think you'd agree with that, really. Would you agree with that? Too little, too late, James? I think it's an offering, and it, it's something that will be spun into a major positive. But actually, when we look at it, we're still going to be paying four or five times what we thought we were going to be paying at the start of the year. So what do you do? How do you look at those figures and find a way to survive? We have to sweat the asset. We have to sweat what we have currently here, if that's opening longer, uh, reducing the staff count. But potentially reducing the offering during the week so the overheads, cost of food and so on and so forth are, are reduced and getting it to a point where we can't potentially do any more and it's only at that point you start to think actually do you know what is, is a viable business or it's not. Gentlemen thank you very much indeed for joining me I'll let you get back to your business now to get as many customers as you possibly can um, sweating the asset as you can see uh, changing the business model this is what more and more businesses are having to do to try and ride out the tide in whatever way they possibly can back to you. Uh, well, Jeff, just to ask you, uh, aside from the energy issue itself, of course, we've been concentrating on the cost of living crisis. Are people shopping, spending money? Winchester's a lovely cathedral city, but it looks very quiet there behind you. Yeah, it does look very quiet. I mean, they were saying here that things are quite busy at lunchtime, but what they've really noticed is that afternoon when people used to come out for a coffee and a piece of cake and maybe something to eat mid-afternoon, that trade has completely died away. So, yes, people might come for breakfast, they might come for lunch, they might come for dinner even, but the rest of the time, you know, people aren't stopping and saying, let's get a frothy coffee in the high street. They're saying, let's quickly do our shopping and then go home and have a coffee later. So it's that little bit. It's the, it's the luxuries that people are foregoing at the moment. And that, of course, has a huge effect on, on, on costings, doesn't it? On the bottom line for all companies. It's, those, it's the extras that are going at the moment.